Hey there, this is Tom with MightyInvestor.com. Today we're going to talk about why you can start investing now, even if you don't have financial assets. MightyInvestor.com is about more than just investing in financial assets. It's also about investing in yourself, whether that's your career, your health, whatever. And the philosophy that drives MightyInvestor.com is really long-term thinking, uh, not just doing what's in your benefit immediately. Of course, there's a place for that in life always. We all want to have a chocolate bar every now and then. But this is really about uh, how do you build a life um, that you will be proud of at the end of your life and that is flourishing in the now and that is only getting better. And in my opinion, the way you do that is you think long term and you think strategically. Part of that is definitely investing in financial assets. And we're already building a stable of blog posts and videos for you to rely upon to build that up. Um, but this video is about other ways to invest. You know, the first one is, that comes to mind is education. How are you investing in your education? It's never too late. And by the way, yes, this definitely includes going to college, etc. But it could also be a trade school. It could be online courses. It could just be reading on your own. I mean, in the modern era, the internet gives you access to such a profoundly broad uh, set of information uh, that you can really do a tremendous amount of self-education just by reading and being disciplined about it. Um, the next one is health. I'm not a real health nut, but I do believe that health is the cornerstone of everything we do in life uh, in terms of just having a good life, being able to have a successful professional life, etc. And so you want to think about how can I invest in my health? What I mean by that is this isn't about making a New Year's resolution and frantically going to the gym and burning out in a week or two. This is about the slow, deliberate, step-by-step, -step, pragmatic effort that you can make. It's taking those extra walks every day. It's, uh, you know cleaning your house instead of hiring someone to do it. It actually, you, you would benefit financially from that and also get exercise. It's eating a little bit better on the margins. Um, this is an investment and I think it's really profound to think of it as an investment rather than just, you wanna look good. Yes, we all wanna look good, I do too. I think about all of those things, but I definitely think of health as, okay, I'm in whatever phase of life, 30s, 40s, 20s or later, how do I want to be when I'm 75? Do I want to be stuck in a chair or do I want to be highly mobile? And you know what? If you do yoga a couple of times a week for all of your life in your 70s, you are going to have a profoundly different life experience in old age than if you don't. Um, so we've talked about education. We've talked about health. Um, you know, when you're smart about money and you save money, that's an investment. You don't have to have money saved to do that. You can just start being smarter about what you're doing. And I have lots of blog posts at mighty.com about how you can invest in yourself that way. Um, other ways that you can invest in yourself is to build out your professional network. Is there somebody who's been super important to you in your life uh, that you really admire, um, that uh, you know uh, you want to have a professional contact with for your whole life, even if they're not at your current company. Ask them to coffee, buy them coffee, talk to them. This doesn't have to be uh, as cynical as it sounds. Often you really like these people and it's really cool to catch up with them in any case. And honestly, over time, your professional network can become as valuable as your job. One of uh, my family members has a, quite a good job but she has such an awesome network that I know that if she were to get laid off within a couple of months, she could get uh, a great additional job at a similar salary. And as I often tell her, I think her network is as valuable or more to her than her job, which is a six figure job. And this is because she's just well placed. She's done so many favors for her colleagues and former colleagues over time, including helping them get jobs, helping them negotiate, helping them pull together their resumes. And this all adds up over time. So professional network is another one. Another one is when you're at your job, how are you relating to it? Are you taking advantage of every training course that they offer? Are you going that extra mile to gain the skills and are you thinking long-term about how to position yourself? 
All of these don't cost money and all of these, I would argue, are a form of investing in yourself. By the way, investing is not just about you. It's also about your family. How are you investing in your children? How are you investing your time and energy in your network, in your, sorry, not your network, but your community, whether that's through charitable giving or through volunteering. All of this is taking the time now to make things better. Um, I haven't done it, but one of the things I've thought about is making the symbol of MightyInvestor.com be an acorn because so much of what I'm talking about here is taking small steps now that grow and branch out into something mighty, like a mighty oak. And it's very long term. In some ways, it's not very uh, typically American, which is a bit more of a fast paced get, 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 get quick. This is about what I talk uh, of the plant, uh, cultivate, and harvest philosophy, which is not unlike investing, right? Where you're doing something now and it bears fruit down the road. So that's really it. I'm not going to belabor this anymore. Um, I just want to really encourage you to think about investing in other areas of your life, not just financial assets. And that goes whether you have assets or not. Um, if you don't, you can start investing immediately. Go take a walk. Literally walk around your house. Get yourself in a little better shape. Choose to have smaller portion sizes. Call that person that's part of your network that you really value and do something nice for them. Um, you know, do something to invest in your community. These are all forms of investment and these are all going to help you and others in your life and in your surroundings flourish. So that's it. I'm Tom with MightyInvestor.com. I really do sincerely appreciate your attention. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe to more videos like this, just click on the subscribe button below and I will see you very soon. Thank you very much.